as you can see by the lap times, I won by over 20 seconds. I did not cheat. All I did was drive this fully upgraded sports car. Looks a lot like a Plymouth GTX slash Roadrunner very, very well. Let's watch the replay to see just how I attained such a victory. From the beginning, I run the car to Can't hear a damn thing. Notice how what I did off the line, I rubbed it to about 5,000 RPM. That helped. And also, the faster you're going into in a turn, the earlier you need to start your drifts. Now this part, it's basically tarmac, so just flat foot it through there, no problem. This turn here gets pretty interesting. I did a, I did a much more shallow drift, because it's a bit of a blind turn. I wasn't the most confident. That one I did another shallow drift for. Now, you don't have to drift every turn on this track. In fact, you shouldn't. Some of them, it's not the best idea like that. I didn't... But, you'll see them. This one I messed up. I should have stuck with the drift I was doing earlier. I would have gotten through a little bit faster. You know, just a little bit of snow drifting, though. Ooh, that's a big error. Yeehaw! Look at that. Nice and smooth. Whoa! Almost got flipped from hitting a cone. Now here, because I care so much about my car, I'm not even going to run through a fence. Love the engine on this thing. And see, don't be afraid to ride up along the walls of the track as long as you, you're you careful about it. I mean, I have flipped over doing that, but that's because I'm either going too fast or too high of an angle. So. As you can see, my opposition is nowhere to be seen. And this, this car just really, really moves. Yep, I messed up a little bit there. I think I hit a rock or something or a light post. Those, those light posts really get the best of me. <laughs> Someone's hood on the ground. See, notice how I'm starting my drift even before I finish it? Or here, I, I stick with the drift and I actually gain some speed coming out of it. I mean, it's weird. When you're driving a car like Trasher in the snow, it's more common to think of it as... Not more common. It's better to think of it as, as if you're driving a Porsche 911 Turbo than a Plymouth GTX, because a Porsche 911 Turbo, drifting actually is beneficial. And the car's going to do it whether you like it or not. So... I've tried to go through this course without drifting. It really doesn't work. Either I lose too much speed, or it's just not efficient. Or I end up understeering, which is bad. And that, you know, that's what I like about Trasher. Yeah, it, it is pretty much guaranteed to snap into oversteer on snow, and even on tarmac, it, that isn't perfect like this. But it's always controllable. See? I'm very confident now. I'm flying through these parts. Now here I try and do some normal turning. But, you know, it, it, for the effort of getting the car to not drift isn't really paid off or rewarded with better lap times. I hear I'm sticking with that drift, and see, the car will correct itself. You know, you can adjust your steering and your throttle inputs as well. Overall, it's better to just keep drifting with the car, just knowing when, like right here. Watch this. I drifted early, because I, I was flying through that part. I was going at least 110, at very least. And so, that's a simple rule of thumb when you're driving... Ooh! I just smashed the shit out of that sign. And that's just a simple rule of thumb for Trasher. The faster you are entering a turn, the earlier you need to start drifting. I mean, yeah, I, you need to hit the brakes a little bit earlier as well, but that shouldn't be your main priority. Just starting the drift is the, is the most important thing, so... As you can see... It's paid off. My, the AI still haven't finished the race. Oh, there we go. Machine finally finished. There's... What's that? Machine. Then we got... That's what's left of another trasher. <laughs> yeah, I can't even tell from here. There's a blade. It's a pretty big margin, if I do say so myself. Ooh, uh...